but boring. It's Uncle Chan no Tatsumaki, and it's another, uh, you know, video and whatnot, but mostly on Inuyashiki. Um, uh, I just finished seeing the first four episodes, and that was pretty, it, it was made by the same guy who made Gantz, Hirak. Uh, uh, correct me, Hirako Oya, if I'm pretty sure, yeah, um, uh, pretty much it's another sci-fi horror, sci-fi superhero horror, just like, uh, Gant, uh, Gantz, and more or less, I was saying, I was, I was just so, just like Drifters, and just like anything else, I was so, uh, I was so stuck into it, um, more or less, uh, I left off where uh, the main character, the, the old dude, in Yashiki, more or less wanted to get that girl back from the from the rapey Yakuza guy, uh, and he blinded all the uh, the Yakuza members there, and he took the girl back. And more or less, I was saying, all right now, actually, when it comes to new anime, because I really don't actually look at a lot of new anime. Uh, they get pretty repetitive, or they're not really all that interesting. But in Yashiki, uh, currently in in terms of new anime, aside from Drifters and a uh, handful of others like Juni Tyson, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> in Yashiki actually kind of got me up on my seat when I saw it. It was pretty good, uh, and more or less, I'm saying uh, uh, on on uh, the website Nine Anime, they they more or less got uh, like they got a. Uh, they saved uh, twelve more episodes, so it it, ga it 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 gave me suspicion that they got twelve more episodes to make before it ends or season two, whatever, uh, give or take, with, with right from this situation. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure the manga at least has four has four volumes, so I'm guessing twelve episodes is the maximum. But whatever the case may be. Uh, I just saw it. I just saw the first four episodes, and more or less is begging me for more. Uh, it can. It more or less starts off more or less with a elderly uh, a Japanese uh, grandfather named Inuyashiki, who more or less got nothing going for him, and he lives in a more or less abusive or or a, a, a abusive or shut out of uh, Household, and one day he adopts a he he finds a dog, and the dog I'm from pretty sure uh, sniffed out a mothership, an alien mothership, and by the time Inuyashiki got there, the mothership crashed on him and some other kid, but that's the other kid is a later discussion, and more or less they you know saponized them and. He more or less from there became a superhero. Uh, it's kind of like Bionic Woman, more or less, kinda. But more or less, uh, in the nutshell, old dude got cybernized, became superhero, and uh, more or less that was uh, continuing on. There's another cyborg like him, another cyborg person like him, who's a uh, some teenager, and. Uh, he is obsessed with manga, mostly One Piece, which well, I was kind of surprised about because I didn't, I didn't think I, don't, I didn't think anime would go so far mentioning other, you know, anime or manga by by title. But uh, more or less, yeah, and he was he's obsessed with One Piece, and and the irony of it is made by the same dude who made Gantz, and he but the the kid who's obsessed with One Piece he hates Gantz because he said it was too bloody. Um, that's called the kettle black if you're reading the One Piece manga, but man, it's just fiction. It, more or less, I just I just found the irony uh, uh splendid. More or less, he hated. It, it's made by the same guy who made Gans, but he hates Gans, even though they had all the posters and shit up in his room. But yeah, uh, more or less, yeah. I'm saying I'm I'm keeping up with Yashiki. Uh, uh, subscribe and like down below. And and more or less, that's my favorite anime out currently. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Kwahiri.